Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at the improved spot healing brush in Lightroom 5. Now, probably many of you are already familiar with this tool. In fact, if you just tap the Q key, you can see that it automatically selects the spot removal tool. But there have been two new enhancements to the tool in Lightroom 5. Now, the first one just kind of happens automatically. Uh, we're actually doing better math underneath the hood. So it's nothing that you actually have to do. You'll just notice that you're getting better results. But the second one we need to spend a few minutes with because in previous versions, of course, you could just click and that would set down a spot. And you're pretty familiar with that. Then you could move around that spot, but you were always constrained to a circle spot. Now in Lightroom 5, if you've got a spot maybe like this, that's kind of an odd shape, now we can actually paint that spot and then Lightroom will fix that. You'll notice that it's automatically selecting an area to clone from or heal from. Of course, that depends on whether or not you've got the clone option or the heal option selected. I'm going to go ahead and switch this to heal. And then I'm also going to reposition that by simply dragging on the pin. Now, if we wanted to hide this, I could tap the H key in order to hide the interface. We'll tap the H key again to bring it back. And then I'm just going to go in and just make a few other corrections here on this image. I just want to remove some of these spots. Now, you'll notice that it, when it automatically selects a spot, if you don't like the spot that it selected, you can tap the forward slash key and Lightroom will automatically choose a different point of origin or a different source area to gather the information in order to fix your spot. So that's just kind of a handy keyboard shortcut. Also, if you have a spot that's a straight line, maybe perhaps like this spot right here, you should know that you can click once in order to set down your initial point and then hold down the shift key and click again and Lightroom will actually draw a straight line between those two spots and therefore fixing that area. Now, on top of this, there's a new tool. So let me move over to another image here. And that's the Visualize Spots tool. And it can be super helpful, especially in an image like this, where you might see a few spots and you might go in and correct those spots. But in fact, you might actually be missing some spots. So if I tap the A key, the A key will toggle on this Visualize Spots. And then we can use the slider to determine the threshold. And in fact, if we scoot it over to the right, you can see that there are a number of spots that I've actually missed. So now I can quickly come in here, especially in like the sky area, and I can fix all of these little dust spots. Obviously, my sensor was a little bit um, dirty here when I was photographing these images. And of course, we can refine those if we need to and move them around. But this is just a great tool that's going to enable us to see spots that we might otherwise miss. Now, before we wrap up, I just have four quick shortcuts that I want to share with you. If you want to delete a spot, if you hold down the option of the Alt key on Windows, your cursor will turn into a pair of scissors and then you can click on a spot to delete it. Or you can hold down the option of the Alt key and click and drag in order to delete multiple spots at one time. And if you want to toggle between the clone and the heal option for the spot removal tool, you can hold down the shift key and tap the Q key and that will toggle back and forth. And one last shortcut, if you want to click and drag to define the source where you're going to sample from, you need to hold down the command key. That way, if I click here in the dark area and I start dragging, you'll notice that I can actually pick the source area here. And then when I release, obviously, Lightroom will take the information from that source area and fix my image. Excellent. My name is Julianne Koss. That's all you need to know about the spot removal tool, otherwise known as the Advanced Healing Brush in Lightroom 5.